Hello Game Boys and Game Girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru and welcome to another Zagbox video. Uh, my pal Zagnorch uh, likes to collect a whole bunch of things for me on my behalf and then send me a huge box to open and go through. Uh, I always have a lot of fun doing this. Um, so I don't have my table uh, set up in here like I usually do because I am actually using it elsewhere. So I've just got the box on the floor here next to me. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll just kind of bring stuff out and show it as I get it out of the box. <clears throat> I haven't actually cut the tape yet. So let's, uh, Do that real quick. There we go. Oh my. Oh. Hey, look at that. He included a knife. I had do have a utility knife like this. Sears Craftsman, very nice. I think mine is actually quite similar. So that'll be, uh, that'll be cool. That'll come in handy. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Very nice. A packing list with everything included. Some custom artwork there. And mask and gloves. Very nice. These actually is the same kind of masks that I wear at work. So pretty cool. I'll have a spare. Ah, uh, nice. So let's see. <clears throat> This should have, ah, boo, nice. This should have a list of everything that's included in the box. Ah, yes. Quite a, quite a plethora of stuff this time. Okay, so let's, let's dive in to the contents. So, here we've got a small stack of games. All right, so we've got Virtual Pool Tournament Edition. We've got The Da Vinci Code, uh, which I, I didn't have for the Xbox, uh, surprisingly. I think I had two different copies for the PS2. Uh, Bode Miller Alpine Skiing for the PS2, NBA Ballers for the Xbox, and NASCAR Thunder 2002 for the Xbox. <clears throat> Here's another group. <clears throat> We've got Onimusha 3 Demons Siege. Spy Hunter for PS2. Sega Superstars for PS2. Ah, okay, this needs the eye toy. I don't have that yet. I need to I need to find one of those. <clears throat> MX World Tour featuring Jamie Little, uh, who apparently does commentary. Cool. And Rogue Galaxy which is an RPG that I did not have. Very nice. All right, what's next? Here's another small batch. <clears throat> Got Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball. Sonic Heroes. The Matrix, Path of Neo. <clears throat> Army Men, Green Rogue on uh, PS2, and Jade Empire, Limited Edition. Love that uh, shiny cover. I did not have the Limited Edition, only the Standard, so that's pretty cool to uh, have that variant. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Okay. 
Crimson Crimson Skies Platinum Hits did not have the Platinum Hits version. <clears throat> I don't think it's as common. Um, Gladius, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings for PS2. <clears throat> Pal version, uh, or well, this is oh alternate region. Yeah, so this is a Japanese copy of Final Fantasy. 10. So that's pretty cool. Mega Man Anniversary Collection on PS2. Now I have all the versions <clears throat> in some form. Time Crisis 3. I really need to get me a PS2 compatible light gun. Smash Court Tennis Pro Tournament 2 or Smash Court Tennis 2 Pro Tournament. Lethal Skies 2, which looks like uh, it's a bit of an Ace Combat ripoff. And Rayman Arena, which I don't know if I even knew this was a thing. <clears throat> when did this come out? 2002. Huh. Cool. <clears throat> All right. But wait, there's more. All right. <clears throat> Ace Combat 4, Shattered Skies, Greatest Hits. Lego Indiana Jones 2, The Adventure Continues. <clears throat> this is uh, The Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim. I think I was lacking the vanilla version of this. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. As common as this game is, I still did not have a copy of this. Very nice. The Hobbit for GameCube and 007 Agent Under Fire, which as you can see, the 007 part is shiny. Always, always love that in these uh, game covers. All right. Um... Some more random games in the box here. Lots of 360 stuff. We've got Falling Skies, the game from uh, what I think was a short lived TV series. <clears throat> Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Game of the Year Edition, a variant I didn't have. Halo 3 ODST. Overlord, which has amazing cover art. Love that. Vanilla Ga uh, Gears of War. And this has uh, got the little seal on it for the Game of the Year awards. And a standard vanilla Black Ops. All right, we've got Dead Space 2, which I did not have. I had the first and the third, but not the second one. Go figure. Uh, Naruto, Clash of Ninja. And One Piece, Grand Battle for the GameCube. All right, now we've got some various pieces here to unwrap and unravel. Well, let's just use this uh, handy dandy knife that he provided. Make sure to cut away from yourself, as is the uh, proper method. Oh boy. All right. So this is a large plastic box.
Oh, there's another piece here on the side. And on this side as well. Okay, this is great. This is a portable CD carrier, and he picked up some blank CD cases for me, which I had forgotten about, but yeah, this will be great because I've been actually going through and re-ripping a bunch of my CD collection and noticing how many damaged cases that I have, so this is, this is good. <clears throat> I'll be able to replace a few. Ooh, let's see. What's in here? Ah, uh, yes. A Sega Master System pad. And a Master System uh, power supply. Or a Model 1 style power supply. Genesis. <clears throat> so, I'll set this aside here. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh yes. <laughs> A little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, kind of tray here. It's got a little fold out deal so you can set that up on a on a table or what have you that's pretty cool themed of course after the uh i think this is the characters actually look more like the comic books uh but the logo is very much in the same style as the the tv show 1988. Very cool. That's pretty sweet. <clears throat> Gotta love anything classic turtles. <clears throat> oh my. Holy cow. This is a Magnavox Odyssey 300. Good grief. Uh, which is a sort of a Pong type of console. So you got the dials of here, your skill level, and then three different games. So it looks like, let's see. A hockey style game. A tennis style game and I'm not sure if that's supposed to be table tennis that's pretty cool so AC adapter and then huh I'm not entirely sure what uh, what this piece is Hmm. I'm going to have to look this up online and do some research. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, check it out. Got the FC Twin. Very nice. Two and one. Plays NES and Famicom games. Oh yeah, and there it is. Yobo Gameware. FC Twin. Very nice. Cool.
The controllers styled very much after the uh, U.S. Super NES controllers with the, you know, the A and B buttons that bump out so you can kind of tell which ones you're using. That's pretty cool. Very nice. FC Twin. Okay. <clears throat> what do we have here? Oh, yes. I know what this is. <laughs> This is the ColecoVision driving controller, the expansion module number two. So there's your foot pedal. Steering wheel, of course. Ah. Oh. So it has an additional plug. Interesting. Huh. I'll have to look and see how that hooks up. Huh. Very cool. Expansion module 2. All right, what else do we have? Man, there's... Uh. Ooh. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Got me uh, rock steady. Oh, that's awesome. Definitely going to be, <clears throat> definitely going to be enjoying that. We'll have to uh, find a place here in the game room to make sure I can display that. That is sweet. That is really sweet. Oh, let's see here. Deluxe Universal AC Adapter. Ah, I wonder if this is this is probably what I need to power that uh, that Pong console. So I'll have to make sure that I keep those together. Let's see, a couple of PS3 games here. I got <clears throat> Dishonored. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Dynasty Warriors 6. Cool stuff. And it wouldn't be a Zag box without some PSP games. So we have <clears throat> Generation of Chaos, Gran Turismo. Cake Mania, Baker's Challenge, Thrillville, Greatest Hits, <clears throat> Moto GP, Madden 07, and Major League Baseball 2K8. Awesome. I do enjoy filling out the PSP library. All right, man, there's even more in here. <clears throat> Whoa, okay. How about So, let's see here. We got 
Formula One 2000 and Cool Borders 2 Greatest Hits for the PlayStation. We got Kung Fu. This is the five screw variant. And Tennis, also a five screw variant for the NES. Did not have the five screw versions of either of those. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Let's see here. Let's open this up and take a take a gander. So we have. Oh, this is awesome. I remember him mentioning this. A Nebraska Huskers Darth Vader Huskers Empire koozie. That's awesome. Uh, that's awesome. A new car scent. Breath of the Wild Link air freshener there. And a Pine Scent uh, Link 8-bit Link air freshener. Ah! Manual for Lizzie McGuire on the go for the Game Boy Advance. Cool stuff. Set that aside here. All right, we've got Age of Empires, the Age of Kings. Hannah Montana for the DS. I didn't have that. I had the PSP game. And Trauma Center, Under the Knife. I've heard good things about these Trauma Center games. I've not played any of them yet. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Ooh, we got a... Oh, this is cool. It's a trap! So we have uh, this awesome uh, Admiral Akbar themed stocking cap. This is really nice, actually. Might have to use this uh, come this winter and uh, throw that on the old noggin. That'll be a fun one. I've got a coworker who will appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sure he will notice it right away. Let's see here. Oh, we got another another Master System pad. And this looks like a Sega... Okay, Sega Auto RF Switch. Nice. Ooh, let's see. What is this? Random little baggie. Oh, nice. Little Super Mario washcloth. That's pretty cool. And, oh, fun. Kawaii cubes. A little Michelangelo cube deal. <laughs> That's neat. Well, I'll be able to stick that just about anywhere uh, here in the game room. That ought to, ought to fit almost any place. Uh, all right. I need to range here a little bit. Ooh. So we have a <clears throat> Super Mario Brothers power-up card game. Whoops. Ten to thirty minutes, three to eight players, ages eight plus. Cool. Might have to uh, see if I can get this open here. I might have to see uh, if I can play this with my nephews. Game rules. Okay, so then you got the cards and all these little Mario tokens. Nice. Yeah, I might have to. Might have to see if I can play this with my nephews. They would probably enjoy that. Very nice. <clears throat> Let's see, we've got uh, Britney's Dance Beat and GT3 Advance Pro Concept Racing. 
complete in box. Add to my Game Boy Advance box game list there. Oh, nice. Okay, here we go. This is a Nintendo NES satellite. Let's see, I gotta, I gotta take a look at this one. Okay, so, oh, right. So then this plugs into the front with the two controller ports. And then this gives me the ability to do uh, up to four players, which is cool. So it gives you the ability to have wireless. Oh, and you can switch it between a controller or a gun for light gun games. You've got turbo for A and B. What kind of batteries does this bad boy take? Whoa! Looks like C batteries. C or D. And it takes six of them. <laughs> yep, and there it is. Battery size C. So six C batteries. Holy cow. Pretty cool, though. That's, uh... That's awesome to have the NES satellite. Uh, let's see here. We've got <clears throat> Razor LeMay, a little figure for the Starlink Battle for Atlas set. I have the starter uh, set, but I did not have any of the other pieces yet, so that's awesome to have. And we have a <clears throat> Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 strategy guide from Brady Games. And wow, this thing is thick. Look at all that. Whoa, tons of maps. Wow, tons of maps. No kidding. And a whole bunch of stuff in here. Wow. It's all full color. Looks very nice. Okay, this is cool. All the different mission uh, briefings and... That's pretty sweet. So, one more for the... For the <clears throat> collection of... Of... Uh, um, strategy guides. Oh, good grief. Well, I should have told him that I didn't need a hedge trimmer, but, you know, it's okay. Oh, I don't need to cut it. Looks like this is already... Oh, wait. What could this be? <laughs> oh! Mad Cats! Oh yes! This is a... an Xbox light gun. Because <clears throat> it's got the... The little breakaway deal there. Very cool. X and Y over here. Black and white buttons, start and back. And then two different triggers. And then a Y down here. I wonder if that's like a reload button that you sort of just tap that. Oh, and then a, a little D-pad rocker on the back. That's pretty cool. Nice. That'll be fun to mess with. I don't have the Xbox hooked up to a CRT at the moment, but that would certainly 
make me want to think about doing that. Uh, let's see here. What is in here? Oh. Ha ha ha, nice. A Darth Vader Star Wars TV game. I have a, a Yoda Star Wars TV game already. So that'll be cool to have that. And, oh yes. And now here is a uh, Millennium Falcon TV game <clears throat> from Jack Pacific. A and B buttons and a really interesting stick. Huh. All right. That'll be fun. That might be one of those things where I have to do a stream of uh, terrible bootleg, you know, budget Star Wars games. <clears throat> Robogun. It does kind of look like <clears throat> Robocop's gun, <clears throat> doesn't it? <clears throat> And here we go. Sunk the Hedgehog. Very nice. I had Knuckles and Tails before, but I did not have Sonic. So, thank you. This is awesome. I'll have to... Uh, oh, and he's got a little dealie I can hang him to. So I'm going to have to find a place and either hang him or, you know, set him up on the, on the shelf somewhere. That's awesome. <laughs> Very nice. Set Sonic there. Whoops. Oh, man. Here we go. Yeah. I finally have my own Sega Master System. Oh, this is sweet. Very cool. It's, uh, it is well loved. It is not in the best shape ever, but it is a Sega Master System. And of course this has the card slot up front and then the cartridge slot here. <clears throat> oh, this is awesome. And there's an AV AV out here, so I ought to be able to get composite. Uh, I don't. I'll have to look and see if the if the master system natively supports RGB or not. Because if it does, look out, uh, RGB Sega Master System stuff. I can kind of do that right now through the through the Genesis, but uh, it would be cool to be able to play it, you know, natively through this. So, oh, this is awesome! Finally, having a master system, very cool. So yeah, obviously with the the master system pad or pads, I should say there before plus the RF adapter and the power supply yeah so ah uh, very cool I always thought this uh, the system looked when I was a kid I always thought it looked pretty sleek and pretty pretty neat um, you know very very cool uh, looking system certainly more advanced and uh, you know forward thinking than what Nintendo's VCR box looked like oh, really cool man that is awesome that is really cool 
finally having a master system to uh, hook up and play. Oh, so awesome. Oh, wow. So lots of stuff for me to go through and catalog and figure out how to shelf. <laughs> and, uh, you know, fun little items to try and figure out where to where to sneak them in. Uh, yeah, and I... I might have to, uh, <clears throat> I might have to, um, dig out my Yoda and do a stream of bad Star Wars TV games at some point so that we can, uh, check these all out and see what, uh, you know, what these are like, because... I'm guessing they're not great. I mean, the Yoda one wasn't great. It wasn't completely terrible, but it certainly wasn't great. Uh, so, and that that's half the fun, because, of course, the games themselves are not spectacular. Uh, they're kind of like second-rate, you know, Game Boy Advance games kind of a thing. So, that's, that's part of the fun. Uh, but anyway, that's... That is it for this Zagbox. A really nice collection of stuff and um, some some really cool items that uh, I'm definitely excited to uh, to have and to find a home for uh, in the game room here or among my collection. So anyway. That's it for, for this edition. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing so you can see more of my videos in your YouTube feed. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below where you can check out my blog and read my Game Boy reviews. That is GameBoyGuru.blogspot.com. Also, check out Nearest channel. He's got a bunch of great chiptune and game music covers, and he provided the Super Mario Land overworld music that I use as the intro for a lot of my videos, so please go check that out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.